Now he gets to drive all the way the other way. And this yeah. is all staying in, too. This is the authentic alone in the dark I experience. Mean, <laughs> you should see how much driving I did. It was a lot <laughs> and fun. <laughs> I did it. Uh, <laughs> it was so much. And you can't even leave waypoints to, like, to know what path to take. You have to keep checking the map. Nope, you have to keep checking the map. And there's no one-button map. You have to do this nope, every time. You have to do this every time. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, I, I it'd really... Be like, it'd be like as if in real life you had to restart your GPS every single time from scratch. Like it has to reboot every time you want to know where to go next. It's It was and definitely... And you spent five minutes waiting for it to find satellites. It's one of those <laughs> things where I, di I, I, took, I took for granted GTA V's map system, which is always press start. Yeah. And I was like, wow, this is fucking intuitive. You just press start and there's a map right there. But this game is like, no, you got In GTA, you can text and drive. In this game, you can barely drive. Yeah. <laughs> But, and you drive like you're texting. <laughs> <laughs> you drive like you're both intoxicated, but also not paying attention to the wheel. That was one of the, that, that's the, one of the most, like, that's like, it's weirdly guilty, but also like, because, uh, it's oddly one of the most fun things to do in that game is to see how well you can manage your phone while, while actually driving in the video game. Yeah. Oh, I went way. No, you're going the right way. Yeah, I want to go the bottom way, because I, because I want to drive around a taxi here, but it's fine. I mean, drive around the ambulance. Oh. But yeah. It's fine. Lost track where I was going a little bit. I was yeah, excited for the new... I felt uh, good about how long I could drive while managing phones, while never touching it, hitting anything ever in GTA at some point. That's but, why That's why I love cabs. Man, cabs are just... Yeah. You can just sit back. <laughs> oh, Shit. wow. I really wanted to just, just hit him. No! <laughs> and he's gone! That he is out of there! That was like the perfect time to get stopped for a moment so that he would fall off when I started moving. It's so, so finicky, I too. See. Like, I had people on me, and I crashed into something, and they still didn't and fall they, off. Yeah, just like bats. Yeah, I was like, but why? But then you would, like, slightly accelerate and decelerate a little bit, and they'd fly off yep. like, they, like they were obliterated. Yeah. Yep. The important thing to know about this game is that none of it works. Yay! I mean, oh, at, uh, at least... Oh, oh, okay. At least there's no promise. <laughs> at least you never fall for thinking it'll work. Yeah, <laughs> like, you never go in with the expectation it that this is going to be good. It never surprises you when it doesn't work. It's just... You're disappointed, but not in the disappointment where you think it was could have not been that way. Yeah. You're just disappointed in that it's it's still that way. Continually disappointing. Wow, Ow. that was a pretty good jump there, sir. Yeah, I guess I gotta fight him, huh? Nope. Just get off. Oh, do I just do that? Yeah. <laughs> does that does that consistently work? Yes. Is that you just get out and get back? Yeah. <laughs> AI. I'm disappointed in you, but not disappointed because I thought it was gonna work well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just annoyed. This is the correct word to say it. And he just jumping, just, probably? Like, I'm disappointed, but not in the real sense of disappointed, where I thought there was anything to believe in. I'm just disappointed in the way, like, the way people use use irony wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and here's that one we were talking about. Oh, uh, yeah. We had, you had to go way up there or something? Yep, there's that, yep, there's there's that rope I was talking about. <laughs> you had to do a time bomb on it. Yeah, that, that's did the it, only one that's take, not recorded, did so it take sorry. multiple tries? Uh, it took four times. Oh, Jesus. Because I threw it, so they set it up in a way that you have to throw it right as it, like, right as it, you can finally throw it the highest you can go. No, Magnetron, that, what was man. was that jump? I don't know, man. Excitement. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Video games are dumb. At least that guy won't jump onto your car. No, but they're all going to kill me now. Oh, my God. Was that supposed to happen? Oh my god, he was that an ex Was that an explosive? No, you he think? like punched your fucking car. Oh, my, is my car dead? Uh, you might need to go start running. Okay. Uh, I'd love to. Yeah, <laughs> that was not intended. Uh... That was a moment. God, well, I, I can't could... homing jump on me. <laughs> I kind of wish we were playing this game with a developer. Just the to, developer or just any developer? Any developer. Oh, no, okay. specifically the one who wanted us to like, pl everyone to play the game. Oh, I want no. that guy here. Because I, I want to hear... That would be such an uncomfortable, long experience I just wanna to play see, a game I like hear, this with the person that made it. Like, I want to hear him explain the, <laughs> the faults in this. Like, I, uh, I I beat Zenith and found out that the developer was uh, watching the whole time. Was he? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, God damn it! I'm sure he was pleased with your review of it. <laughs> he was, more or less, I think. You're attracting the horde. Yeah, I'm trying to... There we go. <laughs> yeah, you have to press you A. You look in the most arbitrary direction to do that, by the way. I can't you help just, you here. Oh, cool. Because I don't know what... Oh, okay, so it's probably yellow. Yeah, you yellow. literally can't see the wires. There you go. 
cool. I love that it, the lighting engine is so on It goes literally to pitch black yeah. all of a sudden. Like, not even the hint of moonlight when the whole game is so bright. This is nighttime right now. I can see everything better than most games. But the moment you look inside of a car a little bit, it's like literally black. Wow, our bumper came off already. I mean, they don't make cars like they used to, Keith. Yeah, even though this is 10 years ago. <laughs> they make them a lot worse now. Oh yeah, I totally remember that period around 2008 where all cars magically sucked for about a year and then stopped. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good history lesson from this video game. It was a really tough time in American yeah. history. There's documentaries about it, you should check them out. Yeah, especially those Toyota Corollas. They're on Netflix. Those foreign cars really did a number on us. That's the bumpiest road too. All right. Here I mean, we this go. whole road's kind of just not making sense. This, really. Well, it's mostly a floaty, like, in, like, demon road. Yeah. But somehow still has the whole road on it. This is a lot of road. Like, like giant ravines open on both sides, but only the road is there. I just didn't. I wasn't <laughs> as a as a non New York road native. Sixty six 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 six. Like I've never been to New York in my life, but I feel like this is a lot of roads for Central Park. I have no idea how big, how big just, Central Park is, to be honest. I just feel like there's not a lot of cars driving through it. I thought there was like... Yeah, it's not really... It seems like it's more of an on-foot type place. Yeah. I always thought Central Park had that one road. Don't they usually shut off the roads in Central Park, too? Well, yeah, like, and I always I think, thought they... I think it just crosses across the center, right? Yeah, I yeah. thought they had that one road I that think there's, like, a across... T of roads in Central Park, basically. Oh, no. Oh. Cool, this visual effect's back. Yeah. <laughs> Feed your head! Good. There's pop... Ow. What? One pill makes you larger. What happened? And I can't see shit. <laughs> what? What's it? Sweet. This is exciting. I oh, love being... use your eyes, stupid. Oh. Cool. Duh. Oh, that doesn't get affected by the weird bullshit. I guess I'll just walk in a circle How and find it. How could you it. not figure out there's a force field? God, Keith. Yeah, this completely unprecedented mechanic that's never been introduced to before. I mean, hello, Lucifer. Does it just scream force fields? Yeah, he's 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 exactly like Darth Maul. Is there like a way in here? Or? I assume that one side of it isn't covered, and if knowing how this game handles tedium and rule of three, there's probably multiple layers of uh, shields right to find the one opening. I don't think. Is that? Can you go under there? I can't no. go over here. <laughs> I think this is all. I think it's just gonna be a cliff. I think I gotta go back around. All right. All right. Yeah. Um, Remember that sigh of relief that literally everyone on the planet that knows this game breathed when 10 minutes into the game you stopped having to blink? Yes. And then, remember that that gasp of horror when you realized, well, I didn't even touch it, fuck you. Remember that gasp of horror when everyone realized that, oh, blinking is going to become a mechanic later again. But for completely unprecedented reasons. So, like, how do you get, hey, here's a crazy thought. Uh, check this side, see if there's a hole in it. If there's no hole... I mean, that's the plan. I might know a way to get through. Sweet. Do I shine a flashlight on it through the yes. lens? Yes. Yay. I would imagine that that has... That's, that might be it. It has the power to banish the greatest demon barriers. If I walk over there, it probably knocks me backwards. Oh yeah, you just do a light through the fucking mag light. <laughs> a mag light and some... Wow! That was closer than I thought it was. Jesus. <laughs> Alright. Exciting time. Is it working? My eyes are closed now. Is it working at all? Am I shining light? Yeah. All right. Oh, um, is that not working? Apparently not. Is there a symbol somewhere? You never saw a symbol, did you? It's just all. Yeah, force I don't field. remember seeing a symbol. Objective. Uh, oh, did we have objective markers? Yeah, go move over. There you go. Oh. Well, uh, one of the ultimate answers is lying under the park. I prepare myself for a deep dive into the bowels of the earth. Of course, I was ignorant of the fact that a twisted bastard from hell had foreseen his move. Okay, um... Cool. I, I don't really... I wonder what the unexplained mechanic is that's going to stop me today. I, I, Can you hold... Favorite... What if you hold your eyes down? We'll hold it forever. Just for you, Andrew. It's not vibrating at all, though, which is a bad sign. Alright, force field asshole. And you can't drive a car through it. Did I crash into it when I got here? Or did I just happen to stop right there? I think... Fuck you! Yeah, oh. you broke into it. Alright. 
Um, boy, oh boy. Wibbly wobbly screen. That makes the game look even better, by the way. I'm glad they put that in isn't here. That, isn't this like specifically what we used the moon for? Was to get, I thought we were using the moon to get rid of the uh, force Do field. I need to look at the moon again? No, no. Is it gone? No, I don't want to drive all the way over to no, the No, I, mean, I thought castle. maybe I'd look at the moon from here, but oh. I don't see a moon. <laughs> so that's not very helpful either. Um, what are you supposed to fucking do? Are you ready to look up a walkthrough again, Andrew? I just feel like this shouldn't Did be you something. you bookmark that shit? I feel like it's something you shouldn't have to. Bookmark. Oh wait, that one's not finished, is it? We're probably past whatever where they, wherever it ends. Fuck. Maybe it's down here. I don't know. There's more level over here. <laughs> I have nothing to go on. They just said to go over here, right? And that's the whole objective. Yeah. And we did all the challenges. We maxed out our spectral vision. What the fuck? Like. <laughs> It, it's probably right. another completely unprecedented puzzle again, like they like to do to oh, us. Let's try to figure it out. Make sure there's no cave or something in that side area where the fucking hole is. Hey, Mooney. Hey, Mooney. How uh, you doing? Let's see. Alone right. in the ghetto. Well, that's not the name of the game. That's Fighting Force. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, no. What? It's in the ghetto. Oh, no. Um, a uh, walkthrough. Yeah, specifically the Xbox 360 uh, version. Because I'm assuming that one's bad. Oh, I died. Nice orb. So, so, I walked kind of near a ledge, and then just fell through the world and died. So that was exciting. Wow, they really didn't want you near that uh, force field. How far back am I? Pretty far. Yeah, hey. my inventory's fine though, right? Should be. Yes. Yes. Okay. They just really didn't want you near that fucking... <laughs> they were just like, yeah, get the I, fuck away from here. I was like, I wonder what's over on this ledge. And I didn't even walk up to the ledge itself. I just fell through the world and died. And it was in first person, so at first I literally couldn't tell I was actually dead. Until oh. I realized it was a loading screen. <laughs> so that's, that was my experience as you were looking up the walkthrough. <laughs> I've never felt less bad about looking up walkthroughs. Like, I go... Like, I have a channel where I go out of my way from ever, ever, ever looking up walkthroughs for games, basically. Because I want to experience it blind. But what is this fucking mess? Like... I so consistently have no idea what this game expects from me. Oh! At all. Oh, I get it! What is it, well, Andrew? Why would you... Wait, what car Does are you in? Does it make any sense? You're in a cop car? It's yellow. Does it make any sense? What yes. you found? Yes, it does. What is it? Yes and no. Uh, the reason you you specifically said the key to the puzzle when you first arrived was that was oh good this visual effect again, and What's that only that? shows up when there are roots around. We have to find roots nearby. No, you need to burn the roots in that building by throwing a Molotov over the shield and what? blowing it up. Yep. <laughs> yep. Were any of the roots you ever had to burn over the course of a hundred spectral vision gathering ever protected by a shield? No. So this is just a made-up mechanic that yeah. we've never seen before. Yes. Sweet! Uh, I did run into Have a... Have we ever encountered a force field before? No. Sweet! It's intuitive as shit. I, I think my favorite part about this game is how the climax feels like the culmination of all of the game's previous mechanics coming together as a wholesome experience. Ha uh, it's I'm sorry, I was thinking of portal games. It's not looking good. <laughs> this game, I was thinking of portal boss fights, I apologize. This game is so bad. So <laughs> bad. See, that's just one giant root in the center. Uh so does that mean I need a Close Molotov your eyes. then? Does that mean I need a proper Molotov? Uh no. Do I have to throw it over the see, barrier? See if you can shoot I think you have to throw it over the barrier, but I think you can shoot through the barrier. <clears throat> Maybe. Oh look, I pull they said cl try closing your eyes. Yeah, so you can see the fucking shield, thanks. Did it say that last time? Yeah. I missed it, I guess. Um, Granted, we already had figured it out at that point. So, throw your glow stick... Uh, bottle- your glowing bottle. <laughs> okay. It's oh, a glowing okay, bottle. Put a glow stick on it. That's funny. Alright. Um, yeah, and you again. Alright. Good luck, only bottle. Well, you might want to get closer than that. The question is, do, is can I throw it through this or not? No, you have to throw it over. Uh, the guide says that's it specifically has to be over. So worrying. So that's the root right there. Uh, the red thing? Yeah, the big old red thing right there. In the middle, that thing. Yeah, that okay. thing that's twirling about. 
So, right about go forward a little bit. Right about. No, keep going forward. Thar. No, keep going forward. Keep the going funk forward. so keep going forward A little bit more. I'm trying to scroll around a little bit. Just to be sure. A little bit more. The fucking way missed. Yeah, thanks for the giant lens flare shit where I can't right, see where I'm going. Uh, uh, okay, it's yeah, almost there. That should be pretty much good. That right there, basically, yeah, right? That should be I good. hope. How do you even judge this? That's that should be fine. Yeah, do you think I'm throwing it over it though? Oh, it's a giant explosion, so just wait till it gets pretty close. No, do you think I'm successfully throwing it over the force field? Be closer yes. Let's find out. We Nope. What the fuck? I couldn't even tell what was going on, honestly. Uh, I it couldn't hit, see shit. It hit the force field. Uh, how do you keep finding new ways to be an awful fucking video game? So we need to find... How is it possible? Like, how the actual hell is it possible to keep... Do you think I just need to Molotov it? Is that the solution here? Uh, no, because that takes time. Like, you need to time it, and that's not worth anybody's time. Um, you don't think it would, you don't think putting a uh, bandage and just throwing it over there and waiting for it to explode would be enough? Well, if you have a plastic bottle, it's fine. So if you can find a plastic bottle, so the, where'd the bottle go? Did it go it, over? It, or no, not? it blew up. It just hit the wall and blew up. Or not blew up. Sorry, it blew up. <sighs> so you need to go find another bottle, so which I'm assuming to, it's in that trash is can. There's stuff over here. Yeah. Okay. Let's find a plastic bottle. Okay, thank God. There's a, okay. That really seems to suggest you need to use that. <laughs> is that tape? No. Yes. Yes, but I don't know why. Yeah, nope. never mind. Maybe these maybe these items don't make sense. <laughs> All right. Well, at least there's that. At least they gave us a bottle. So yeah, there's random collectives of, collections of explosive bottles hanging out in the trash can. Yeah. So go ahead. Like, and like there's a p f apparently a fucking trash can bomber in New York, in the narrative. So go ahead and just drop the bandages, and then just grab the rag and put it in there. Right. No need to waste a perfectly good healing item. Grab that. This, is, a, this, this is so garbage. God damn it. Yeah, I really... And, you ha and just to reiterate, you have to intuit this. Yes. It doesn't tell you, and it's not based on previous experiences, really. So At I wouldn't best, try... it's kind of based on that one room where you throw it over the wall, but that wasn't a magical force field with completely uh, indeterminable boundaries that you can't see when you're throwing it because it goes invisible. And you can't... And you have to let it be invisible. And you have to let it be invisible because when you're aiming, you need to be able to tell if it's going to go the right place. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is this is good. Ah. It's a good game. Good game. Ah. Game of the year. Lighter. In the uh. Jesus Christ. The balls. World for game of the year goes to. Nope. <laughs> okay, shit. It's already. It's already. So wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. a second. It's already. It's already lit. I gotta go. I think. Yeah. Good so enough. It's gonna blow up eventually, and we should be set. Is that close enough? We can't even tell from here. Yeah. It's Yay. Fine. That's pretty. That what you said right there is like the the uh, the subtitle for my entire playthrough of getting the roots. Is it good enough? I don't know. <laughs> and then suddenly, oh, I guess it was good enough. Yeah. Sweet, I guess. <laughs> I feel nothing. I feel nothing. <laughs> Alone in the dark, I feel nothing. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> That's nothing. the subtitle for this game. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Uh, That's that looks terrible. Oh, floor. It's floor. Yeah, but it, okay. just, it looks awful. Commoner jointing! Close enough. It's not. It's not commoner jointing because it's tiles, but... <laughs> it looks a lot like it. What the fuck? Is this floor made out of that stuff? No. That's regular bricks, the but the going? brick, like, is distorted and melted like, somehow? Like teeth? Yeah. <laughs> How, how'd you do that? <laughs> Hi. Uh, uh, oh, we're vibrating. I see Oh you. my god. Yep, welcome back to these there's guys. A, there's a thing, Keith! The they, they didn't forget about their mechanic, yay! Except it's the most boring mechanic in the game. So Just remember kinda, to close your eyes. I kind of really wish that this was long. the one time they forgot it, honestly. All right, you can do it. Okay. Whoa! Oh, wait, where's that light coming That's from? That's from me, I think. Oh, okay. I think, it, I think it moves my aim. Oh, that is you. That's you yeah. in the room. Well, what's happening then? Oh, the floor opened. Oh. Yeah, it took me, it took me until the last second to see it, that what was changing. That's really weird. Right, I'm just gonna fall in this hole now. Whee! That was not the best plan, as it turns out. <laughs> oh, oh, you died. Oh, I was like, I was like, wow, this is a terrible animation. He's just free falling. 
Uh, you better not take me back to before the Molotov. Please. <laughs> no, you've you completed a part where it has to probably quick save. <laughs> that was so fucking funny to watch. Jesus. Oh god. Close your eyes. No, that's they're fine. There's no tentacle monster. Oh right. Yeah, <laughs> duh. It's totally clear. Thank it's god. totally Thank clear. God. god, why does it look like it exploded? Everything looks bad. I mean, we just blew through an explosive in here. Well, yeah, but it was an explosive, like, fire explosive, not, like, actual TNT explosive. Yeah. <laughs> Over there. Close them for long enough. Do it! Wee! The light. Like, I like that the character where you're holding it, he has to, like, stand in a specific position. That was a way position. longer fall than I thought, by the way. <laughs> that was part of the fun. <laughs> I didn't realize that was the wrong way. Like, I didn't tell you no, because I thought that was what you're supposed to do. Yeah, just hop in the hole. The camera seems to just point at it, like, hey, check it out. Oh, do you, oh, you have to shoot that to climb, to rappel down. <laughs> Look at that. Look that, at, is, that, that looks great, that doesn't is, it? Yeah, I'm loving those shadows. It's that, like flickering and losing its mind. That light engine's doing its work. Doing its work. Also, it's brighter down there than it is midway through the tunnel. Yes. Uh, there must be light sources, I guess. So, yeah, just shoot that rope down. Alright. Just don't fall in a hole. I've done that so many times. Walk backwards in first person and whoopsie daisies. Whoopsie daisies. Also, the dot disappears in the sky is fun. Yes. Hey, you did it. We wouldn't want to have a HUD. It's almost like you good at this game or something. Also, where's this rope coming from? Just the side of the pole? It's a flagpole. <laughs> it look, it looks like it's just spawning out of the side of the flagpole. Like, magically. Look, I don't <laughs> I don't claim to know how flagpoles work, but also, I think it's I magic. When I shut the rope down, it looked like the rope just despawned. Yes. And now I'm pulling it out like, like a measuring tape. <laughs> it is... It's so weird how you hold ropes in this game. <laughs> God, it's so... Oh, uh, cool. That looked great. That looked intentional. <laughs> Could you... Wait, did you put these blocks here on flare. purpose? Lens flare. These blocks look really dumb. Maybe they're supposed to look like those ruins we saw? This reminds me of, like... Is that as far low down as I can go? Yeah, but you can probably drop. I doubt it. Won't... That looks super far. Well, I mean, drop onto the ledge. What ledge? There's a ledge right is below you. Is that closer? You. Yeah. I can't tell how far away that is. Yeah, just probably want to swing. I was just sliding on the. Floor. You probably want to swing to the Look at left. Him sliding, do it. Zero, zero. Wow, <laughs> his feet. <laughs> I mean, only the best. His feet just slide across it. Wee. That's all right. I guess that's it. Yeah. So just there you go. <laughs> I guess that's good enough. <laughs> That was the most unceremonious impact, where he didn't like even go. Ugh, like, he didn't like, even acknowledge. He didn't. Yeah, he didn't land. He just was like, Dick, "I'm here." Like he spawned here. <laughs> All right, that sure happened. Oh boy, wow. that's a little far. Yeah. Um. All right. Hmm. Uh, let's look around. Hmm. Do I just shoot the other half of you down? <laughs> I. I don't think about that. I don't think I can jump there. This seems like I made a mistake. No, no, no. No mistakes were made. We never make mistakes. Do you think I'd jump for it? You could, but I don't trust the jump mechanic. No. Also, I'd have to do it in first person, because <laughs> I can't, the, ca ca the camera does. <laughs> uh, can you jump in first person? <laughs> can you run jump in first person? Uh, I, know, I, can, I know how to find out. Oh, uh, <laughs> boy. Wanna, if you want to give it a go. Uh, I don't want to <laughs> redo that puzzle every time, though. <laughs> um, yeah, there's like nothing else here, though. How is every moment of this game this unintuitive? I just... It always feels like everything's wrong all the time. I'm gonna hit that... First of all, I'm probably... Yeah, I got, you're just gonna hit the wall. Yeah. Worth it. YOLO swag! Oh, you could've grabbed onto the rope. What? <laughs> Camera. <laughs> you could've grabbed onto the rope while you're jumping down. It's hard to say if that was gonna work or not. I don't know of any other way, though. Yeah, I don't know. You can't make the rope go down anymore. Open up that walkthrough while it's loading. I can't I gotta, believe we have to do this so I gotta, often. I gotta, I gotta slowly redo stuff anyway, so you might as well just double check so we don't wait for more loading screens. Oh my god, it does spawn me all the way up back here. Every time. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. Um... <laughs> oh, it's only the best. Only the best. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I figured. 
What is it? Uh, you just need to drop down, uh, to grab the ledge. So you just need, like, not jump off, you just need to, like, m meander your way to the, uh, to the edge, and then you'll just grab onto the ledge, and Have then just- Have we ever had to do that ever? You know, we usually just get automatically put into, gr uh, like, climbing positions. We're always climbing up stuff. Yeah. Well, you've climbed down stuff before, but-, but not by, like, but not by back- not, not by hanging from a ledge. Yeah. It was in the very beginning of the game. I can't think of any time where we had to drop down onto a ledge and hang off of it on purpose. Oh, not this specific way, no, but we have done- Is that going through the floor? Uh, we, there- There have been instances where we have, uh, what's it called? Where it, we have- like it, it makes me think of, like, I've seen footage of a game called Haiti. Have you seen that? Like, no. the, the Robo Chick game? Uh, every time people play that game, they get to a part where you have to figure out how to draw, hang down from a ledge. But the game doesn't tell you that you can even do that. Fun. And, and the game is permadeath, so you have to start the whole game over, <laughs> if you die. That seems very unintuitive. So over and over and over, <laughs> I just cut my light. Do you see that? Yeah. That was amazing. Uh, over and over again, people will just fall off that ledge over and over again, trying to figure out how to, how you're supposed to grab it exactly. So just edge off, I guess? What? I don't know. There oh, there go. it goes. So just shimmy to the ledge. So people just die over and over again trying to figure out way. the arbitrary way that you do or don't go off a ledge in that game. And every time you mess up, you start over and play the last, like, five minutes over and over again. Whee! That's, that's how- that's what we call in the business- What a great way to teach mechanics. Good game design. Nailed it. Hello. And right. there's the other rope. Just grab that, son. Sweet. And then jump off. Whoa! <laughs> could you not? <laughs> Rope physics. That clipped it. all through the rocks. Yeah, none of that looked okay at all. I mean, look, the developers were at the end of the game, so they were probably like, Go, 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 just do whatever yeah. we can to finish. You know what's way easier to model than a city? Rocks. <laughs> Everything's one rock texture now, forever. <laughs> it looks like the Moaning Cavern. It's got that thing where everything what? looks- What? How like, do we have service? <laughs> uh, I found a new wrinkle, I'm afraid. Go ahead. I don't think you can surprise me at this point. So, it appears that there is a second medallion. It's gotta be this key we're looking for. I, I think you need both stones at the end of the Path of Light. Two times the fun. Okay, Sarah. This fucking guy lived to save one-liners? Two times the yeah, fun! Yeah, also, could he be any more- Sick of talking to her. Okay, Sarah. And hangs up. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that tone? What's I mean, I get it. She, every time she calls you, she literally says nothing yeah. of importance to you. But like, damn, dude. He's so bitchy about it. Well, these are all lit torches, by the way. Yes. What? Lucifer. Lucifer. That's life with Louis. Oh, Louis. Always Louis. lighting the torches. <laughs> Come on, Louis. Put oh, your torches man. out when you're not using them. That's a thing. All right. That sure is a thing. Uh, but yeah, like, I I can have trouble having reception in my own home, but they- not only are we in New York in the apocalypse, but he's in a subterranean cavern where earthquakes wouldn't affect him anymore because of how deep he is. Yes. <laughs> but still has cell reception. Yep. Does he have a god phone? Wow. Oh, it's not his phone. Look it's... at these visuals. Oh no, your shadows are all fucked up. Thrilling climax of your video game. Uh... Literally can't look anywhere else. It's not like a weird background detail. It's literally the only thing your camera can be pointed at at the moment, and it looks so garbage. Uh... This is definitely one of those, like, it's almost done. Just... It's almost done. We've been working on this for six years. This crazy guy just wants to keep that, <laughs> like, you know, you know. Like, it had to be a nightmare to work on this team, because the leader was, like, one of those Molyneux types that's like, Yeah, you can go camping at night, and you can get sick if you're not warm enough at night, and you can get the Balverine curse and turn to a werewolf. Like, all the stuff that he promised about Fable 1. Yeah. Like, that's that's what's going on here. Like, you can put a glow stick on your throwing bottle and, like, all these bullshit mechanics that are here for, like, random reasons, mostly. Like... That's the- that had to be the experience of being working on this game, like, this guy just keeps adding shit, and you're like, it's just fucking- we need to end this game, and it's like, no, it's been six years, and this guy's insane. 